remembering David McCallum, who's died at the age of 90. OK, let's take a look at the weather with Judith. I'm not sure I saw those blue skies in Glasgow today. They were there, they were there. <laughs> so, uh, we were them. just talking about that being the Athletes Village during the Commonwealth mm, Games. So, so yeah. yeah, we did see some blue skies, something from the inner city for a change yet. Thank you very much, Laura. A wee bit of blue sky there behind me to cheer us up before storm Agnes reaches our shores tomorrow. But as far as this evening and tonight's concerned, it's fairly quiet, actually. Still a scattering of showers around initially, but they'll tend to ease as we head through the overnight period, leading to clear spells, maybe the odd mist patch here. Now, just the odd shower grazing the Western Isles, the Northwest and the Northern Isles. Winds will ease down as well. Temperature-wise, could be down as low as four or five Celsius, a few parts of Grampian, but generally around about eight or nine degrees. So into tomorrow, well, Storm Agnes, the first named storm from the Met Office crossing our shores tomorrow, bringing a swathe of heavy rain and high winds as well. So inevitably, there are a couple of warnings in force. Firstly, a high wind warning pretty much countrywide, potential gusts of 50 miles per hour through the central lowlands at times. And down towards the southwest is where we'll probably see the strongest winds, gusts of 60 to 70 miles per hour expected here. Then we have a heavy rain warning for parts of western Scotland for the southwest into our Gal, Stirlingshire and the Southern Highlands. That driving rain and wind will allow totals to mount up here and notice that these areas are mainly high ground as well. It does start off on a quiet note but there will be some possible disruption due to Storm Agnes and also the potential for localised flooding. A largely dry start initially, even some early sunshine, then we'll start to see cloud gathering and the first signs of that rain pushing in here as we head through tomorrow afternoon, accompanied by strong to gale force winds as well. So that leads us into a wet and windy afternoon for the southwest. Again, we could see those winds uh, knocking into the severe category at times. Strong winds across the mainland, along with that rain gusting it up to gale force at times. The very far north and the northern Isles getting we scot free, dry with some sunny spells, but that rain will make inroads here as we head into tomorrow evening so a spell of wet and windy weather for all tomorrow evening although in saying that with the low pressure system banked right across us tomorrow night there'll be a lull in the winds for the mainland the strongest of winds will be down towards the southwest and also across the northern isles still those winds picking up as we head through the overnight period so a spell of wet and windy weather to end the day end the night i should say starting off windy on thursday the rain clearing away we'll see some sunshine first thing and then blustery showers following on from the west the winds easing just a touch that's your forecast okay thank you judith now tonight's main news again hundreds of schools are